from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're still seeing that we have quite a lot of activity here hanging around parts of Maryland. Yes, we still have this severe thunderstorm watch in place for us until the overnight hours. But you can also see that strong storms are still moving along the Mason Dixon line over towards parts of Northern Virginia. That's another line of storms that is feeding in towards Maryland as well. So we can also take a quick look outside here over on I-95. Quite a bit of ponding still on some of these roads after such heavy rain has moved through parts of Northeast Maryland. Look at that. Remember, you always want to give yourself a little bit of extra space when driving on these types of roads because you can end up hydroplaning and you definitely don't want to crash into another car, especially when there's downpours and lightning. That becomes a double danger out there on top of already being stuck on the highway. Let's get back towards some of the graphics where we can get a little bit closer into what's going on here around the Baltimore metro area. Well, again, still some of these storms, a very small sliver of here, Baltimore County still under the severe thunderstorm warning just because we have a strong cell right there. So that is something that continues to hang around for us. We still are under that enhanced risk for severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center. It is still going on throughout today because of just all of that moisture and activity we have in our atmosphere. Looking currently at temperatures still sitting in the 90s around Annapolis. We've dropped down into the 80s here in Baltimore, but look at that. 66 over in Westminster after finally getting all of that hail and rain and wind that moved through. So looking at future cast as well, finally towards around seven o'clock, we start to slowly dry on out, but it's not fully over just yet. We could still expect to see some showers and some thunderstorms making their way through and even parts of the overnight hours as well. But then once we get into the have yeah, more towards closer to Wednesday, that's where it starts to really clear on out and it's a much better day. We'll have plenty of sunshine and a lot more comfortable. So tonight's lows will still hang around in those 60s and 70s. Not going to get too chilly out there, but because of the rain, we are going to cool down a bit. And then after that, once the cold front moves through, we are still going to be in the upper 80s and 90s, but closer towards our average and not as warm or humid, luckily for us. And as we take a look at the impacts for today's storm still, again, the gusty winds are really the main deal for us. Some flooding because of just how saturated all of our soils are, hail as well, and you can't rule out an isolated tornado yet. So that's something to keep in mind as we continue for the next few hours. Looking at our seven day forecast, we still have a slight chance for some afternoon pop up showers, nothing super widespread, nothing that should really rain on our parades. And then by the time we get to Thursday, it's going to be a lot nicer, more sunshine as well as Friday. And then as we head into parts of Saturday, we start to see the humidity increasing shower activity for Sunday, and then we do it all over again with some thunderstorms yet again on Monday. All right. See